All right, this last part of our simplex method here, this first example, is going to be interpreting our result. So um, we had actually, uh, you know, finally got our, our solution, the simplex tableau, down to this tableau on the bottom. And just to recall, remember the original problem. We were trying to maximize this function subject to these constraints. Um, this first inequality had to do with fabrication time. The second inequality had to do with assembly time. And it says to get our answer, what we have to do here, you basically look at the variables on the left-hand side. So this is why it's very important to switch them out. And you basically set it equal to the values on the right. So it says we're going to get a maximum profit when x sub 1 equals 200, when x sub 3 equals 300. Your max profit is going to be the number that's down here in the bottom right corner. We set our other variables, which are x2, s1, and s2, those all get set equal to zero. So everything else just gets set equal to zero. So again, it says we're going to get a max profit of $4,400 when basically we make, so x1 was the number of components of type A. So it says make 200 components of type A, make 300 components of type C, and by default we'll make zero components of type B. Likewise, s sub 1 and s sub 2 equals 0. What this means is you have 0 hours of slack time when it comes to fabrication. That's where we had introduced s1. It says you have 0 hours of slack time when it comes to you know, the, the, the amount of hours you had for assembling things. So basically, one more time, it says you'll get a profit of $4,400 when you make 200 of type A, 300 of type C, none of type B. Since there's zero slack left over from both of our slack variables, it says you'll use up all of the available fabrication hours and you'll also use up all of the available assembly hours.